So uh, is that just, I don't care about terms. You want to call it an illness, you call it an illness, or a disease, fine, or a disorder. But is there a difference, do you think, between a disorder and an illness or a disease? All right, last week we picked a topic out of the magic jar of topics, and who picked? And he picked the topic of transgenderism, also known as gender dysphoria, yep. also known as, uh, I don't know what. Yeah. So we have a lot to say. We're all boiling over with things to say. <laughs> I just hope we'll be transparent. Uh, <laughs> People get mad at us laughing. Did you know that? Yeah, wow. okay. yeah. We you... saw in one of the comments. It's like, what? We're not supposed to have fun on this. I show? will laugh at everything and not care about it. So. That's right. We can laugh at what we want. Yes. So, uh, laugh. All right. Who yeah. wants to go? <laughs> I'm. I, I really don't. I'm really going to be learning from you. All right. You don't have I'm any gonna questions. Start. Steve's prepared? starting. No, right. no, I, no yeah. questions prepared. I'm going to start. Uh, because the relevant question in Christianity today, I'm assuming, is can you be transgender and be a Christian? Is that correct? I would, ag that, I would agree that, with that's that. That's the question. I think a lot of people would say no. I'm saying, of course. Why not? Why wouldn't? Why? Why not? Okay. W what does God care about that? Yeah. So, yes, I think the simple answer is yes. You can be cr transgender and be a Christian. So I have to throw in just right off the bat your question of what does God care about that? The Christian, normal, typical Christian would say, God made you a man. Sure. So you're going against his creative process in your life. God doesn't love you because he made you a man. He doesn't love you because he made you a woman. There's male nor female, right, in God's eyes. So um, I think that's just your fleshly stuff, and your flesh is going to... It's the same as can Christians do drugs and be a Christian? Can you not go to church and be a Christian? The answer is yes, you okay. can. Do you have okay. something to add? Uh, I, I'm in total agreement with that. Of course, you can be a Christian and be transgender. Um, of I mean, course, you say. Yeah. I, I mean, we, we all have issues in our flesh, one way or another. So, like, with transgenderism, and this goes to the whole political aspect of it, it's a, it's a mental illness, whether or not the World Health Organization says that anymore. They changed it mm -hmm. conveniently, conveniently for the political aspect of it. But it's a mental disorder. So you have to have that uh, element of caution and understanding with how people struggle with this and always show Christ's love in that. But of course you can be a Christian. There's no implication between you chopping your penis off and <laughs> accepting Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. So is transgender chopping the unit off? or, or A lot of people don't do that, but if you can afford the surgery... I thought that's transsexual. I thought that's the difference. Is transgender is you mm -hmm. identify with the other gender, but you don't actually go through the motions. It's, no, it's, it's about the it's same still thing. Transgender, it's, 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 it's just um, pre-surgery or post-surgery. Oh, really? Yeah, if it, transsexual is more like, um, uh, the, the trans uh, person was on the show yeah. a while ago, right? And he, he clarified, transsexual is more like for a fetish type of a thing. Or oh. like, it, it was more oh. to do with sex specifically, okay. um, but just transgenderism can be with or without the surgery. Okay. Um, yeah. So what you saw, oh, I can't remember what you said. You said something I wanted to jump on, not negatively, but, um, um, but in any case, what you're both saying, agreeing on, it'll come back to me. Yeah. What you're both saying is, it's no different than somebody being... Oh, you said it's an illness, a disease. Yeah, well, a mental disorder. Yeah. Disorder. So uh, is that just... I don't care about terms. You want to call it an illness, you call it an illness. Or a disease, fine, or a disorder. But is there a difference, do you think, between a disorder and an illness or a disease? Yeah, I just think the phraseology sounds better when you say okay. disorder. Because if you say it's a disease, that sounds bad in its right. terminology. So I think it's smarter just to say disorder. Okay. Disorder, and it's a disorder because you're, it, it, it can't by definition really be normal because you're switching from what you were born in. So right. yeah. it, it is a, something different than what you, you were born in. But um, yeah, I, I don't care whether we call it an illness disorder or we say it's just personal preference. I don't care. Um, in a Christian perspective, I think it doesn't matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think that most uh, evangelical Christian churches would disagree with both of you. Of yep. course they would. They would. Well, but look, they're the ones that preach that we need to have our identity in Christ, right? Christ is our identity. Mm -hmm. So what does it matter then if you 
switch your gender or whatever, but you still, if you're making Christ your identity and you care about God and you love others, I don't see an issue with it. I don't think it has anything to do with it. Just like you can wear any style you want. You can wear any style of clothes you want. I'm wearing cowboy stuff today, for example. Um, but I mean, if I was dressing in women's clothes, I mean, it's just clothes, right? You would look By the way, we were all tempted to show up and drag just to have fun with the topic. <laughs> I didn't, ha I didn't I have anything. I couldn't find a dress that fit me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And that, see, this is the thing I have to add right at this point. That goes with classical liberalism, is I do not see a need ever to cater to any group of persons. I don't care if they are severely disabled, mildly disabled, transgender, homosexual, heterosexual, white, black, Chicano, nothing. I will refuse to cater to any group with special needs. Everyone is a human. They're all human. And I will not break them down into categories. So Amen. what about the categorical demands of people who are transgender, for instance, uh, I change tonight and I say I want to be called Susan. Okay. And I want to be referred to the pronoun as she. And I demand that of my church. What about that in the Christian community? I mean, in terms of like a general respect level, I mean, it's a silly demand. Uh, but I, I, I call people by their preferred pronoun because I just don't want trouble. I mean, wh wh what is the use of you going out of your way to call them he? If, if they're biologically a male, I, I don't see any use to that, especially if you're trying to lead them to Christ. Mm. What's the use of them, of you pissing them off mm. instead of saying, OK, I'll, I'll call you she, I'll call you whatever name you just said. Mm. And uh, just moving on from there and continuing to show the love of Christ through that. I don't see any point to it. At the end of the day, it's about love. So if mm. I if I dress, um, we're just say, keeping the surgery and physical stuff out of it, but we're just saying just as dress, dressing, for example. So if I'm dressing more feminine, let's say, and someone accidentally calls me she or her or something, I'm like, hey, can you, just, I'm a guy. I just like this, <laughs> these clothes. Can you just call me him <laughs> or he? I'm a dude <laughs> or something like that. Then I think any normal person that's trying to be nice and loving to you would say, yeah, sure, of course. Mm. So it's just a request, I think, from people. Now, there's the whole political stuff where people are demanding all. I think that is stupid for other reasons, but mm -hmm. it, from a Christian perspective, it's pretty cut and dry. We need to love others and just show them respect that we would anyone. Yeah. So you both are strongly dividing between the political stuff that's going yeah, on. Yeah, I have different views politically. Oh, yeah, oh. definitely. Okay. So, and I'm glad that both of you, I'm proud of both of you. Oh, thank you. You didn't launch in with the political stuff. No. That is so great because you it's very to easy to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's I mean, what a lot of most churches and Christians will is do. Is they launch in the political now, stuff. Now, I used to do that all the time, but you learn over a period of time what the most effective strategy is and what the Bible tells you to do. Right. This is what I told you guys uh, like four or five shows ago is you have two minds about things, your Christian perspective and your political or scientific perspective, whatever you want to call it. And I draw a pretty clear divide with most topics, and I ha may have two slightly separate views on those things, depending on the area for that. Uh, <coughs> relative to that, COVID. I'm sure, especially when campus was pre-COVID and was more popular in terms of church, that a number of people would approach a man who's dressed as a woman and identifies as a female by calling him him. And I know they would do that because it's politically how they see things. Mm -hmm. But I'm really glad you both kind of pointed out that within the body, if someone wants to be called a carrot, <laughs> and they're really adamant <laughs> about being called a carrot, that you would say, hey, okay, carrot, That's what's what... going on today? You hey, carrot. I was talking, hey, carrot. Like I said, I was talking to my fiance, Ksusha, last night about this, and she was talking about identifying as a teacup or something. <laughs> right. Saying, yeah, people will do it. Right. But this goes into the... Um, <coughs> secular realm of, you know, politics and other stuff where, where that, that goes into it. But, um, yeah, for, as, from a Christian perspective, and if you're, you know, operating as a Christian with these people, you know, you need to show love. Mm -hmm. and, and even when, uh, even if you're talking of a political thing, if, if there's somebody in front of you that's trans, you don't want to be mean because mm -hmm. you're always a Christian. Right. right. Yeah. So, Primarily. Primarily. Yeah. 
Anything else? Are we going to hit it that um, easily? I have other things to bring up. Oh, definitely. Like. Bring, bring up more stuff. So what yeah. would you say as a Christian that God's view is of somebody who is genetically male but identifies as female? What would God, what does God think about that? Yeah, what would, well, uh, what are they in your mind? You're a Christian, you're talking to them, being transparent and honest, but... Uh, your political side thinks, perhaps, I don't know, but your political side thinks it doesn't matter what you dress in. It doesn't matter what you cut off or add on. You are the gender you were born. Right? Well, there's science that. There's science. Well, yeah, that, right? right. That's not political. Yeah. That's factual. Okay, so factual science. Right. So do you think it's more loving to factually address a brother or sister or to address them in what their disorder <laughs> It, it, it depends. So if the, the problem is, and Ben Shapiro makes this point whenever he talks about transgenderism, and it's a very excellent point. If you're someone that's schizophrenic and you're hearing things, is it better to just say that the things that you hear, the voices in your head are real, or do you get treatment? Do you get mental help for that? So how is it helpful for me to play to this false reality that you believe that you're in by calling you the opposite of what you actually are? That's not true. Now, I'm all for loving them. I will love them until the day I die, just like I do everyone else. If you want to be called she when you're a male, I'll call you she, because there's no reason for me to not call you that. Uh, however, when they ask me my position, and, or the factual position of it, and the way that God sees it factually, you are the sex that you are born as. I, I don't really have a problem with... Um going with what they prefer but I have more of a problem when it comes to the culture today that's trying to make it the rule not the exception yep. when I think it's pretty clear that it's the exception not the rule mm. and um, so that's more of the issue I have with it is saying everyone should be trans <laughs> you know mm -hmm. which people certainly do um, I think just understanding that it's it's the exception and um, I guess if they ask what you really think about it i mean you could tell them but i don't wouldn't go out of my way to to do that mm. i don't know i think that's forgotten them to deal with mm. i i wouldn't, wouldn't i wouldn't mess with it mm. personally but we, maybe some would we had a uh, transgender man who's now a woman I, I have to say so you know where he came from she came from on heart of the matter and we talked to uh, him for an hour or two it was fascinating. I mean, it's not like this, this dude wants to have this thing any yeah. more than a, and I, I'm sorry, but you got to put it into a, some sort of disorder because it's out of order with what he came into the world as. Yeah. So he, he has this disorder. And, uh, mm -hmm. but I have to also admit it, it, it is irritating when um, people will say that's what they are. Yeah, I agree. That's yeah. So true. Mm -hmm. But from a Christian perspective, what does it matter? Right. I don't think it does. I, I don't think it does either. And yeah. I, I, I don't like just like if someone said, OK, I'm black. <laughs> Me, Steve Utley, I'm black. Yeah, But that's not true. What, exactly. How's that helpful? Of, of course, it's not true. But I mean, what I'm if just, he believed he was black? But yeah, but I'm just saying you're not black. I'm, but I'm just saying, does God care? Wait, but would you allow him to believe he was black? No. What? Wait, what, why would you Half allow my family? A, doesn't even think I'm black. Why does he get to be black? <laughs> why would you allow a man who is now saying he's a woman, but DNA wise is a man? You would allow, and you would call him her or she, but you wouldn't allow him to call himself black. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, that's a decent point. I, th I think, I think it's a bit different though. Wow! <laughs> it hits me more personally when he <laughs> plays with black. That's awesome. And it hits other people personally too with the gender thing. But we, and yeah. at the end of the day, we have to be loving and understand that this is just people are all sorts of different ways about all sorts of different things. So as a Christian, we need to be loving to them. If it gets to a scientific discussion or a, a discussion about that, then sure, you can talk to them about it, but always mm. do it in love. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree with that. Um, I was going to make a very excellent point like I always do, but I forgot what it was. At the, and if, if it starts getting combative where they're starting to, you know, it's drawing you out of that love mentality, like you're starting to get heated, and then I think we should just submit and say, okay, that's fine. Well, and, and move I on. don't know. As a debater, so. when it gets heated, that's where the most fun happens. That's when the but flesh I, is, though. We're talking about as Christians. As Christians. Amen.
Uh, so, uh, so <laughs> hey, I, I, don't, I don't know. I love a good debate as much as the next guy, but um, I mean, yeah. I, I just think love needs to be supreme. I want to make yeah. an announcement. I am a black, thin woman. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do the thing? <laughs> you can. We have, a, we have a sound Steve's come up with, not come up with, but is borrowing from country I, music. I annoyed and my Every time family. someone says something stupid, he's going to go. <laughs> I am we a black, support I'm you. a beautiful black thin woman with large breasts and a beautiful body <laughs> and that's my identity well good choice <laughs> yeah. that's, what I would say. that's what I would say it's creative I mean it's creative all right now I'm gonna put it on YouTube and then I have an answer myself what would you say in conversation mm -hmm. with let we can role play if you want or you're in conversation with a transgender who comes into the church this is just my view of things, but typically, typically, not always, but typically people who have special, um, special, they, what they believe are special circumstances, mm -hmm. they're gay, they're transgender, it becomes the focal point of their existence. Yep. Yeah. So what would you say to someone who corners you, who comes to a church and says, I'm searching for Christ or I'm a believer uh, and, and I'm, I'm transgender, what do you think? I would think that's a bad question. What would I say to them? Yeah. Well, how would you yeah. respond? I would say, okay, that's fine if you're transgender. Uh, let's look to Christ. And yeah. uh, do you love God? Sure. Okay, great. I do look to Christ and I do love God. But what do you think about me being uh, ma uh, male by birth? But uh, I believe I am female with all my heart. And what do you think of that? Am I female? Do you, uh, ooh, that's a tough one. But I mean, got to be honest. Right. That's a good question. But I, in, in real life, if this were to happen, I don't think I would, I don't think I would press them on the issue, honestly. For, well, for me, pressing you, though. I, they can press me. That's fine. But again, I'm going to submit and say, OK, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And show love to them because I think they're expecting me to fight them mm -hmm. in that in that they're, they're trying to be con confrontational. So I'm going to submit and diffuse and say, well, God loves us all, and sure, that's fine if you want to. So, will you, you believe see that? me great. as a woman? Sure, sure oh. of course. Okay. Because, right, because love. Yeah. Because love. That's why. I, I don't. I don't. I disagree. A different with that. opinion. I, I don't think love changes the truth. Okay. So, if they were to ask me that, and again, I'll call them what they want because it's just words. But uh, when it comes to the biological nature, and they say, "Do you see me as a female?" No. I mean, and I would get, you say it with that attitude? Not, not with the same <laughs> attitude. I shouldn't go to the but Here's but, the problem, no. though. If someone, if you'd never met this person before and they come asking you, I'm always going to say, of course, sure, fine. If you get to know them better and you become great friends with them and you have a deeper conversation, then you can but, go but into are you it. Trust lying, has been built. Are you lying yeah. to them in that instant, though? Well, it, that's a question for the bucket. Is lying bad <laughs> all the time? Is every lie bad? Man, because that, I, that's the easy one right there. Because, because if I, they are asking I don't think you, so, oh boy, if oh, they oh, if oh. they ask you, do you think that they are a female when they were born biologically male, and you know that they are not, and you try and go around that, then that that's basically lying to them. I have a question for you. All right, because you're a young man, your new wife comes out of the bedroom oh, Lord. and she's wearing an outfit that is making her look a little plump. And she says, do, and she's worked all day to look, to look good for her date with you tonight. And she says, do I look fat in this? What do you say? Oh man, shut up. This is, this is what I'm saying. Love, right. what do you love say? wins in these situations. Well, no, I mean, I, you could say uh, uh, you look thinner in other things and you know she looks thinner in other things. But this wife that you have happens to have a little bit of a belly or a bit of a butt. And she looks a little heavy in the outfit she's wearing. But she does not want to look fat. Mm -hmm. Okay, And she asks you, her husband, on the night on the town that she's worked all afternoon to get ready for, do I look fat in this? And Sean. <laughs> That's the perfect question. <laughs> See, you're lucky you have it here. <laughs> I, you're lucky. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that she's fat. Now, I, 
Not fat. <laughs> do I look fat in this? No. Yes, don't. honey, you do. <laughs> you don't say yes, you are fat. That's no, so you don't say yes, you are. <laughs> you never say that. <laughs> that no, we we got to train this guy. He's going to have a divorce. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, slowly I, but surely. I, I, we'll, <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I know you wouldn't say it bluntly, but, um, but you have to be honest. So how would you do it? I don't know. I ain't married. I, well, I don't have to worry about this for you'll learn. 10, 20 years. So you say, oh, honey, you look beautiful. <laughs> That's not my question. I asked you if I look fat in this. And that's, that's the thing that happens with these other things is that you're right. They do want to corner. So I think there has to be another way to approach the question. And what I would say, which is in love, is your identity is irrelevant to me. Our identity is in Christ. Mm -hmm. My identity. Look at my idea. What I was born as is a, is a feral little monster. Mm -hmm. So I don't <laughs> see myself as that. Do you see yourself as something special or unique in your flesh? Because that's not what we're about. We're about our identity in Christ. And you redirect them into, in the Christian setting, what they are. Now, politically, my hands are off. Yeah. You know, but, <laughs> but in terms yeah. of the faith, because your point, uh, which is a good one, I like the idea of truth always. But I tell you, man, uh, that's why we're all sinners, I guess. This world does not allow for blanket cold, hard, unadulterated truth in every circumstance. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right. And I think there's different, um, av er, different arenas for different behaviors. Like speaking this truth, it, you can do um, on a show like this or something like that. But in a personal interaction, I, I think we operate a little differently, or we should at least. Well, yeah, yeah. you would be, you would be more calm with it, but I, I Because you don't want to judge the individual, uh, like, I don't know, it's just different. I mean, things. again, I, I have friends that are part of the, in Dave Chappelle's words, alphabet people community. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I mean, I have my personal beliefs. I won't say it unless they ask. Mm. It's like, oh, Ethan, what's your opinion on homosexuality? Well. That's what I think. Here's what the Bible says. I think it's a sin, but it's just like me cursing as a sin in the Bible too. So we're in the same boat here. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, so it, it says I, I give my opinion on things. I don't look at them any differently. I don't, I don't judge them any differently than I would you guys. At least I try not to and to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. But I, I think you have to be honest the best way you can when it comes to the truth of it. What's a worse identity for a Christian to bear? That of being macho and tough and he's rude to his wife and friends uh, when he's not macho or tough? Mm -hmm. Or a transgender person who is kind and gentle and they, uh, they just see themselves as the opposite uh, sex? I would say that both identifications are, uh, are uh, out of order but I would also say that the, the kind one, the, the loving one. So really, it's not, it goes back to your point. It's not what they're dressed in or what they identify as. It's yeah. how are they in their heart? Yeah. If they were a transgender person and they were asses, mm -hmm. I would point that out readily. Yeah. You know, you're a believer and you're an ass. Mm -hmm. Who cares about what you're dressed in, right? Mm -hmm. So something to think about in that yeah. end. As yeah. a Christian perspective, I'm telling you, I just really don't care. Yeah. I mean, I just well, really don't care. As long yeah. as you're... Um, I, I care about the heart, like what you're saying, and, and, and it's love is supreme in yeah. these situations. Mm -hmm. And I think if someone came in right now that was transgender, I don't think I would care, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I, I just wouldn't focus on it because God, Christ is our focus. Well, yeah. well, yeah, I'm just saying in the particular situation that they ask you, hey, mm -hmm. Ethan, what, what's your opinion on transgender issues? I'd be honest with my mm -hmm. views on it. Okay. Okay. So uh, relative to this final point with it, because we're out of, out of time, but we now also have the political side. Yeah. And this is my point of why I don't think Christians should mesh or include or let people know they're Christian if they're involved in politics, because it, what it does is it brings the political view into the Christian view. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to ask you what your political side is, although I think I know at least in one case what it is, maybe in both, <laughs> I don't know. And, uh, and, and I understand the logic behind it. I actually did something I never do. And I, I looked up a show of, uh, with Joe Rogan and uh, oh. Ben Shapiro about transgender. That's a good one. That's so, a good one. And, and, we're and they talk about things like 
uh, a man who identifies as female, uh, Fallon, I think her name was. Oh, yeah. Um, the uh, boxer. Oh, the, the, uh, the MMA, MMA fighter. fighter beaten up. Who gets in the ring and beat the hell out of a bunch of women and was a man and didn't reveal that he was a man. Mm-hmm. And, and then the world was like, he's woman, he's woman. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was turned well, into an abuse Caitlyn thing. Or Caitlyn Jenner winning Women of the Year for being a, a woman well, for fe- six months. Feminists just don't yeah. like this because yeah, feminists it, are, uh, this is, the, uh, this this is, is just turning everything thing. into men, even what they have. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like <laughs> men are winning all the all the awards that women are supposed to be getting, and they're Typical. like, "What the heck?" Typical. Yeah. yeah. So it, 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 again, these are all political things that have nothing to do with how I um, operate as a Christian. But um, yeah, I, I think a better question for all this too, or maybe a different angle, is what would you do if your child said, "Hey, I." identify as a woman or something mm-hmm. like that and, and and how would we operate in that situation that's mm-hmm. tougher for me to answer yeah. mm-hmm. because i'm kind of thinking of these things for my future and yeah. stuff and i don't know and you could step it back you could move from you know your child or your teen or your adult child being a pedophile being a homosexual being an adulterer to being a a, a cross-dresser or transgender mm-hmm. all of it's the same thing yeah what's going to be the parental response mm-hmm. and religious parents turn to abandonment and kicking out and loving parents will be embracing and Mm -hmm. I'm going to love you through this and we'll see how it works out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, uh, yeah, all these things work out with love. So yeah. Final comment on transgenderism. I I mean, in terms of Christ, always love. You can be just as much of a Christian being trans as I can being whatever I am. I mean, a coffee drinking, I'm excited. Good for guy. The, I'm excited yeah. for the comments. You really. can't add to it. <laughs> I'm excited for the comments too. In I'm fact, I'm always excited for the comments. We're gonna wrap this show up. We're gonna we're gonna start something new. We are gonna pick from the vial of death at the beginning <laughs> of our shows now, so we don't have a time to prepare, and we can just speak by the spirit from the heart. And so, at the beginning of the next show, we're gonna pick a new topic and see what we have to say. Ready? All right. Out. Out. Oh, the camera. <laughs> All right, that was good. That was good. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You. <laughs> thank you.